In part five, The Whistler, The Floating Book, part one of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, we witness a crucial moment that encapsulates the deepening friendship and unspoken romantic tension between Rudy and Liesel. The narrative leaps forward to a scene where Rudy, in an act of devoted heroism, plunges into the icy waters of the Amper River to retrieve Liesel's floating book, The Whistler. Despite the gallant rescue, Liesel still denies Rudy the kiss he so ardently desires, maintaining a playful yet poignant element of their complex relationship. This part of the story is significant for multiple reasons. Firstly, it highlights how vital Liesel's books have become to her. Rudy's willingness to risk hypothermia underscores his understanding and respect for Liesel's passion for books. His act symbolizes not just a retrieval of an inanimate object, but a profound rescue of something that constitutes a core part of Liesel's being and identity. Moreover, this episode is layered with foreshadowing, as Death, the omnipresent narrator, chillingly mentions that Rudy will die in two years during a bombing. This revelation adds a weighty pang of impending sorrow to the reader's experience, contrasting sharply with the light-hearted request Rudy makes for a kiss. Death's admittance that Rudy's untimely demise is undeserved opens a broader dialogue about the indiscriminate and often brutal nature of death, particularly in the harrowing context of World War II. The book Rudy Retrieves serves as an important metaphor within the novel. The Whistler signifies a connection to Liesel's ongoing journey through literature and survival. The lengths Rudy goes to retrieve the book demonstrate his deep care for Liesel, further developing his character as not merely her friend, but her unrequited admirer. This act also emphasizes Rudy's inherent bravery and foreshadows his ultimate tragic heroism. Furthermore, Death's commentary reflects a rare but significant insight into his character. It dispels the notion of death as a mere harvester of souls, revealing instead a being capable of empathy and sorrow. Death's reflection that Rudy would have liked Liesel to weep over his body when the time comes illustrates Death's understanding of human emotions and attachments, which adds depth to the novel's exploration of mortality. Zusak masterfully uses this chapter to weave humor, romance, and impending tragedy into the narrative. The interplay between the everyday moments of childhood and the looming shadow of war captures the fragility and fleeting nature of life. As we see Rudy and Liesel revel in their playful banter, we are reminded by death's interjection of the inescapable reality of their environment. A world torn apart by war, where even the most promising lives can be abruptly and unjustly snuffed out. Through this lens, part five of The Book Thief profoundly amplifies the themes of love and loss, courage in the face of adversity, and the relentless march of time. Rudy's selfless plunge and Liesel's literary devotion contrasted with their innocent exchange about a kiss they never share, all set against a backdrop of foreboding doom, encapsulate the bittersweet essence that Zusak strives to capture throughout his evocative novel. Thanks for watching this bookly crash course video. Please smash that like button, hit subscribe, and leave a comment down below about what videos you would like to see next.